Hi and welcome to this introduction to the Easy Panel. We're just going to talk about some very basic functions in the luminosity mask area and then in the next tutorial we'll get a little bit more advanced talking about apply mask and then in the tutorial after that make selection. So for now I just want to show you how the luminosity mask work. Now these are 16-bit luminosity masks but that also means you need to be working in 16-bit mode. So you can see on the title of my image all the way at the end it says 16 and that means I'm working in 16-bit. If you want to work in 16-bit, just go to Image, Mode, and 16-bits. And this will offer you a higher quality image and reduce things like color banding. Now, to use the luminosity masks, these are our bright masks. They will target the highlights in our image. So I'm going to press this button. And when it's finished, it creates layers in a group called Mask. And these are all of our masks. Now we don't create any channels, this is a quicker, lighter and easier way of creating luminosity masks. Now to view the masks, if you want we can actually go through them manually, but I've created these six buttons that allow us to very easily see what each of those masks look like. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Going from one we have an open mask which is less restrictive, and then we go all the way to the right to six and we have the most restrictive mask. Now, those are our brights masks. If we want to develop some dark masks or mid-tone masks now, we have to press delete, and that will delete the existing masks, and then we can press dark, and this will create our dark luminosity masks. And again, we can go to one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we want to look at our mid-tones, we can delete that and click on 16-bit mid-tone masks. And again, we can view those masks to see what they look like. Now to use these masks, we can use something called Make Selection or Apply Mask. Now Make Selection turns our mask into a selection. And when that happens, the luminosity mask stops being 16-bit because all selections in Photoshop are 8-bit, not 16-bit. And most of the time, that'll be absolutely fine when exposure blending. However, Apply Mask will apply the luminosity mask as a 16-bit mask. Now the benefits of Make Selection ahead of Apply Mask is that we have more control over how we actually exposure blend or use those selections. Whereas Apply Mask, as you'll see in future tutorials, will apply our mask to the entire image. And it's okay if you're not sure what that means. But let me show you quickly what Apply Mask does. Now if I just duplicate this background layer just as an experiment, so nothing should actually happen here. But if I press Apply Mask, it won't work. We have to now select a luminosity mask. So before we can use Apply Mask or Make Selection, we have to have a luminosity mask visible. And so now we have that, I can just press Apply Mask. And you see on this top exposure that we made before, we now have the mask applied. And you'll see how useful that is in exposure blending in future tutorials. Now, now for something like Make Selection, let's say I create a Curves Layer and I brighten the image up significantly and add a bit of contrast, but you see we've overexposed the highlights there. Well, if I go into the Easy Panel and I choose my Bright Masks, then I look through the masks, and let's say I like this one because it has a good selection of the window and a good selection of the overexposed areas in the books. But let's have a look at three just in case. Actually, I quite like that one too, so let's go for Brights 3. Now if I press Make Selection, again we need a luminosity mask selected before we press this. You can see we now have marching ants. Now I press Command and H or Control and H, and that hides the marching ants. I choose a paintbrush, I choose a black foreground, and I make sure my brush opacity is at 100%, my flow at 100%, and my smoothing at 100%. CS6 users, you won't see smoothing because this was only added in CC. And now watch what happens if I run the brush over the mask. And we could do this multiple times, by the way. Now the change is very subtle. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but essentially we have just removed the overexposed areas from the curves mask. So watch, if I disable the mask, watch these brighter areas. Disable mask. You see they brightened up and enable mask. And the great thing is if I paint anywhere else, so look I'm painting on the darker areas and it's not making any difference to those areas. It's only affecting the areas we chose in the mask. So it's only affecting the brighter areas. So that is a very quick overview of the difference between make selection and apply mask and how to use luminosity masks. Now I just want to make a quick note about dodge and burn. 
All of these functions are pretty easy to understand. But dodge and burn, let me just quickly show you how to use this. If we just click on dodge and burn, you'll see we've created a 50% gray layer. And now we can choose a white brush to dodge any area in our image or a black brush to burn those areas. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna take the shadows along here, make a bigger brush, set my opacity to around 20%, and you see we're brightening up this area here. And we can brighten up that area there and down here as well. But if I change my brush to black and I paint over here, you see we're darkening those areas. So that's what a 50% gray layer can do. It allows us to dodge and burn non-destructively. And if you want to increase the strength of that dodge and burn layer, we can just go to soft light and change that to overlay. And you see now we've created a stronger effect. And we'll obviously, we can reduce the opacity of that layer if it looks a little bit strange. So that's our basic introduction finished. And you can click on tutorials here to take you to more tutorials for the Easy Panel. Or if you want, you could upgrade Raya Pro and Instamask by clicking here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.